This total body dance inspired workout is sure to make you feel tall, strong, and confident in the skin that you're in. After a brief warm up, we'll move into a series of abs, a section of arms, and then finish up shaping and strengthening your buns and your thighs. This is a full body dance workout that you're sure to want to bookmark and save to use time and time again to feel amazing. I'll make sure to make this workout appropriate for all levels and abilities by providing modifications and ways to intensify exercises so that you can meet your body's unique needs. But as always, check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any exercise routine. And if we haven't met yet, hi! My name is Caroline Jordan and I'm a certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of workout routines helping you get the best results with at-home workouts. So if you haven't done this already, please subscribe to the channel and hit like on the videos that you enjoy the very most. And if you want to support this channel in creating content for you to use, please consider becoming a channel Patreon. Patreons are part of my exclusive community and they enjoy perks like my monthly workout calendar program and so much more. So click the link in the description box to join us today and support me in my message of sharing movement as medicine with the planet. With all that being said, break out your mat and get ready for this full body dance inspired workout. Let's warm up. All right, my friend, it is time for our warm up. Let's have fun moving our bodies together today. Meet me in a knee. We're going to reach our opposite arm forward and contract our core as we bring our knee up towards our chest. I just want to say how happy I am that you're here. Breathe and start to settle into your body and generate positive energy for our workout together today. <sighs> Stand up as tall as you can and let's start to reach one arm up towards the ceiling and crunch in towards our knee. So squeeze your core, knee to elbow. Huh. Whew. Warming up should raise your heart rate and get the blood flowing in your whole system. Bring that knee across. Great. You got it. Four, two, rest. From here, we go heel, stretch. Little hamstring, little squat. So you're stretching your hamstring and squatting with the opposite leg. Send your long spine forward. And when you stand, squeeze your core. Feels good, doesn't it? I think so. <laughs> you got it. Lengthen and stretch. Four more for me. Last two. Return to your knee and this time both arms pull. So heart rate starting to elevate. Maybe you're starting to glisten with a little bit of sweat. Whew. You got it. Big reach of those arms. Feel free to go slower or faster. Just see where you're at today. Nice job. Keep it up. Here we go. Hop. Good. Few more. Four. And relax. Legs go wide. Toes forward. We're going to reach and touch our opposite toe. So send your butt back as you reach towards the floor. To modify, go a little bit lower. Less low. <laughs> yeah. To make it harder, go lower. You know, how low do you go? Send those hips back. 
Nice job. Stretching your inner thighs, waking up your buns. We've got a lot of buns to enjoy in this workout. Breathe. Nice job. Down and up. Four more for me. Last two. Turn the legs out, plie and reach. Squeeze your glutes as you stand and keep your tummy nice and tight, belly button to spine. How you feeling? Pretty excited for those abs coming up next, huh? Warming up and then we'll hit the mat for some core. Nice job. Low squat. Last two. And one. Take it down and pulse. Drop those hips. Squeeze your glutes. Woo, you're going to be warm by the time I'm done with you. Stay low. One heel lifts, other heel lifts. Oh, we're getting down to business. You got it. Drop your hips. Lift one heel at a time. Last four. Thighs should be burning. Last two. Last one. Rise up, toes forward, heels back. Hinge forward at your hips. Drop your hands towards the floor. Get that stretch. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Bend the knees. Whew. Straighten. Then we're going to be ready to hit the floor for our core. Just give me four more. Open up the whole body. And straighten. And three. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. From here, slowly roll up. Shoulders down and back. Walk your feet together, heels together, toes apart. Calf raise up and down. Squeeze your bum. Let's warm up your ankles and your feet. Good. Takes me back to my ballet roots. You know it. Get those calves strong. Whew. Just four more. Falling over is required at least once. Last two, and last one. Turn your feet to parallel, reach up towards the ceiling, and we're going to circle down, circle up, circle down, Whew. circle up. This is our final exercise of our warm up. Circle down, Whew. If you mess up, don't sweat it. It's not meant to be perfect. It's meant to feel like a release. Two more. Last one. Shoulders down. All right, you're warm and you're ready. Meet me on your mat for your core work. It's time for our ab section. Meet me in a high kneeling position. Squeeze your abs, push your hips forward, and take your hands behind your head. Kneeling side bend, so we'll go over and up. Working your obliques as you lift and lower, and working your glutes as you're seated in this kneeling position. Feel free to go slower or faster. This one is always very hard for me, which is why I thought it would be good to include it in this video. You know, you can't always do the exercises that, e that are easy for you. That is not how you grow. <laughs> you grow by doing things that are new and challenging to your system so your body can adapt and change. So I'm so proud of you for doing something new today. Something hard. Feel free to do the standing if you have issues on your knees. Four more. Last two. One. Nice job. Meet me on your back. 
Laying all the way down, lift your legs up into the air, straight legs, hands by your hips. Lower down and lift. So nice, strong, straight leg drops. If you need to modify, feel free to do one leg at a time or lessen your range of motion so go a little less slow. To intensify, lift the hips up at the top as, and drop a little bit lower with every rep. Up and down. Point your toes, shoulders into the floor, and breathe. Hey, guess what? You're doing great. Last one, whoo! Bring your knees to tabletop, scoop your shoulders off the mat, bring one leg in, lengthen the other leg long, switch your side. So we go switch, switch. Long neck. Feel free to rest your head on the floor. If you feel any neck tension, add a twist, twist. Hey, good job. Keep it up. Woo! Tummy is working. Oh, we're going. <laughs> Last four, three, two, and one. Roll on your side and set yourself up for a modified side plank. So my knees are down and my knees are in line with my elbow. Lift up into a modified side plank. From here we go down and up. Now I wanted you on your knees for this so that you're using your hips and your core properly. Sometimes it's not about doing the most advanced option, it's about doing the option that helps you connect most properly with good form. You should be feeling your side waist a lot. That's awesome. I like it. Squeeze every rep. Lift tight in your obliques. Don't sink in your shoulder. Use your lats lifting up. You're doing it. Nice job. Let's do four, three, good job. Swing it over, second side, set it up, elbow in line with knees, lift up to that side, modified side plank position, <laughs> resituate yourself if you need to. Ready, down, up, here we go, down and up. <laughs> I always say if it stresses you out, you're doing it wrong. Exercise should be a fun, stress-relieving part of your lifestyle. So next time you're feeling stressed about your workouts, check yourself. <laughs> Shouldn't feel stressful. We're so lucky to have bodies we can move and enjoy. 100%. Good. Squeeze up. One side will most definitely feel harder than the other side. That's just how bodies are. We are not made symmetrical, huh? Good. Lift. Squeeze. Whoo. I know these are hard. Harder than they look. Two more. Last one. Nice. Meet me on your belly. Extend your arms and your legs. From here, lift your arms and legs off the floor. Swim. Can you get longer? Good, squeeze your glutes, lift higher. I believe in us and our ability to be strong. You got it, keep swimming. Keep swimming, four. <laughs> Two, and one. 
one, forearm plank. Forearms down, tuck your toes, lift your hips, squeeze your bottom. Nice job. Hip dips. So we go side to side. If that's too much for you, hold your modified side plank, or excuse me, hold your, side, your center plank. No problem. But if you want to try those hip dips today, Working the obliques a lot in this routine. Oh, that's good. Woo! And hold your center plank. Squeeze your bottom. Nicely done. Long collarbone. Long neck. Breathe. Meet me in a high plank, come up. So crawl up to your hands, mountain fiber knees. So we go opposite knee to opposite elbow. Twist. Shaking is a totally normal experience in this class. You might find yourself shaking. This is totally okay. Keep going. Four more. Last two. Last one. Nice job. Swing it over onto your bottom. Lengthen your legs. And then place your forearms on the mat. From here, you're going to open your heart and just... Find a nice long position. Squeeze your bottom. We're going to reach our arms forward and slide. Forward, slide. Reach, slide. Now, if this is too much with both arms, try one. One arm. That's a great modification. I just want you to be proud of whatever you choose to do today. Because practicing movement will help you get stronger over time, no matter what option you choose. Reach those arms nice and long. Shoulders away from yours. Good job. Let's try two more together. Last one. Awesome. Roll all the way down. Bring your knees towards your chest. Lift up and then lengthen one leg and straighten the other towards the floor. Let's do a straight leg scissor switch. So we use switch. Try to kick those legs long. Neck is neutral. Back is pressed into the mat. Oh yeah. Now add a little twist. So we twist, 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 twist. Whoo! Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bring your knees in, roll up to a seated position and find your boat pose. So ankles, same height as knees, squeeze your knees together, reach your arms. I just want to thank all of the Patreons who have made creating this video possible. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Knees together, squeeze. Good. Now you're just going to lower to your hollow body hold, come up to your boat. Hollow body and boat. Use your abs. Here we go. Hollow body, and boat. Woo! Hollow. Boat. If you wobble, make it part of the dance. Hollow. Boat. Reach. In. Good job. Reach. In. Reach. In. Reach. And in. Last one. Reach. And then take it to your hollow body hold. Squeeze your heels together, toes apart. Drive your back into the mat. Reach your arms. Breathe. Don't let it go. Mm -hmm. You dancing yet? I hope so. Whew, hollow bodies are always hard. 
You did awesome. Hold it. Okay, release. Come on up. And it's time, my friend, for our arm section. So meet me in a standing position. Okay, it's time for arms. So meet me in a standing position. You're going to bring your heels together with your toes apart, zip up through your inner thighs, and engage your core. From here, bring your arms to second position. We're going first to second. Now, I would not advise adding light weights to this. Just trust me, <laughs> don't be a hero. <laughs> your arms are working a lot through this entire video in our warm up, in our core section, and even in our lower body section after this. So this brief arm section will allow you to feel the burn, but we don't need to kill it. <laughs> Good, first to second, nice job. Keep squeezing your glutes and engaging your core. Let's do second to fifth. So we go fifth, second. Keep your ribs in. Stand tall. Nice job. Oh, you look like a ballerina. I see you. First, second, fifth. Here we go. First, second, fifth, down. First, second, fifth, down. Now, you know what I notice the most when I do this arm sequence? My upper back. That's awesome. It's amazing how body weight arms can actually be very effective. Shoulders away from ears. Good job. Hold your second position. Circle. Good job. You got it. You're doing great. Circle other way. Ooh, I feel it. Nice. Again, reverse your circle. Woo! You got it. Good job. Other way. Last time. Mm -hmm. Good. And relax. Turn your legs to parallel. You're going to reach your arms back behind you. Nice long spine. And all I want you to do is touch your thumbs. Squeeze your posture muscles. So touch those thumbs. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. So I'll show you from behind. You want to squeeze your upper back. Thumbs together. All right, let's go. Woo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo. That's tough. Four, three. Now you're going to do a little boxing. So we're going to go one arm forward, one arm back. Forward and back. Forward, back. Are your arms burning yet? Good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it to a row, row, and release. So again, squeezing those upper back muscles, the muscles that help with posture. Breathing. Squeeze it more. Last two. Last one. Meet me in that stand. Reach lower. So big circles now. Squeeze the heels. Squeeze the glutes. Engage the core. Reach down. Yes, I feel things. Nice. Feeling things. Eight, seven, six. You got it. Last four. Three, two more. Hold it up. Just give me a little plie to releve. Just hold your arms. So doing a little bit of lower body stability as we keep our arms in this isometric hold. After everything you've been doing, you should feel it in a good way. Four, three, last two. Squeeze your glutes. 
Last one. All right. Drop it down. Roll it up. Shoulders down. Arms are done. Meet me on the mat for your buns and thighs. Buns and thighs time, my favorite section. Meet me on your back. We'll start with our classic bridge. Lift and lower, here we go. Up, down. Open your shoulders and tuck your pelvis under. Now I have a lot of lower body exercise videos on the channel. So if you're looking for more form tips and mastering different movements, check out my full playlist. I'll give you a lot of fundamentals on training your lower body effectively at home. Good, take it up pulse, squeeze. Little pulse, ooh! Are your buns making up yet? I hope so. Squeeze, lift. You got it. Four, three, two, hold it up. Drop one hip at a time. So I call this hip dancing. You actually really need to use your lower tummy muscles, not just your buns and thighs. Hip dancing, here we go, hey. Super fun, right? I know. Last four, three, two, one. Take it up, hold, tuck your pelvis under as much as you can. Create length in the front, strength in the back. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Good job. Hold it. And lower. Now come to a releve position. So you're gonna bring your heels off the floor and we're doing the same thing, bridges up and down. Here we go, up. Now if the releve does not work for you, feel free to stick with the regular bridges, okay? No sweat. Listen to your body. Make modifications or adjustments, whatever you need. Ooh, hello, buns. <laughs> Things are working. Good job. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So the same series, but in a releve. <laughs> are you saying, oh, my buns, hun? Yes, I know. Take it up, pulse. Hup. Little squeeze. It's working. <laughs> We're good. Uh-huh. Last four, three, two, hold. Hips, one at a time, in the releve. Yes. Focus, four, three, Two, find your isometric center hold, squeeze, mm -hmm. lower down. Okay, meet me on your side, meet me on your side. So we're gonna go laying down on our side, one leg forward, up in front, up behind, up in front, up behind. So big rainbow, Good. Keep your abs tight so your body doesn't roll all over. Up, in front, up, behind. Great job. Good, meet me in front. Lift and lower. Hip bones are square. Now if you want to, you can flex your foot. Some people feel like flexing their foot helps them really get into their glutes a little bit more. 
So play with it. See what works best for you. Mm-hmm. That's good. Ooh, bun's on fire! You can also turn your big toe down. Try internal rotation. Ha, that is definitely a whole new situation. Yikes. Last two. Last one. Nice job. Swing it over. Switch sides. Woo, we got rainbow butt and then straight leg lift. So ready? Up in front, up behind. Woo, hopefully you won't kick your equipment. <laughs> you might have to adjust. <laughs> oh, the joys of home workouts. You end up kicking the cat or the, the, the couch. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love when you tag me in your Instagram stories working out with your pets. So cute. One of the Patreon members has a golden doodle and she always posts me and tags me in her posts with her golden doodle and I love golden doodles. They are the cutest. So cute. Up and over. You got it. Abs tight. Here you go. Lift tap. Nice. Woo! It burns! One more. Hold it in front. Lift it up and down. Up, down. So it's at a diagonal. It's kind of um, diagonal to my belly button. And I'm using this top hand to help me not wobble all over. It's good. How you feeling? I know. Buns on fire. Comment below if your butt got worked in this video. Let me know. Eee! It's hard. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Last one. Ah, good job. Tabletop. So tabletop position. Now you can do this standing if you have issues kneeling. You can also do it on your forearms, okay? So let's take one leg and we're gonna extend it straight back. So on your hands or on your forearms. Flex the foot, up, down. Now don't go so high that you get in your lower back. You really just wanna stay in touch with your glutes. Stay connected to those buns. We go lift, lower. Can you get longer in your spine? Yes, you can. Hold it up. Give me a pulse. Squeeze. Whew. Now we're working. Straight leg squeeze. Yeah. Hold. Give me a curl. Curl. Extend. Get that thigh parallel to the floor if you can. Squeeze your hamstrings. I'm smiling because I love working my glutes. Yes. All right, four more, then we pulse. You can do it. Hold it in, pulse, go. Oh my gosh, shaking. It's amazing. Wow. And relax. Okay, child's pose really quick. Give yourself a little glute stretch because you know you get to do side two, right? Let's do it. Tabletop. Set the other leg straight back. Flex your foot, long spine, straight legs, lift and lower. Did you notice that when you're doing this, you're also getting abs and arms? Bonus. Up, down. Oh. <laughs> Remind yourself how good you feel at the end of the workouts, right? Like you do a workout and then you feel so great afterwards that you join us on Patreon to do my monthly workout calendar because you want to know exactly what videos to do every day to feel this good. Right? Four, three, two more, then we pulse. Okay, take it up. 
It's a pulse. Squeeze your abs. Don't go so high you feel your lower back, okay? You got this. Pulse. Woo! Ready? We're gonna go for a curl. Hamstring curl. In. Extend. How long is your neck right now? Yes, a few more and then we'll pulse. You got it. Take it in and pulse. Here we go. So it's squeeze. Squeeze. Really mind-muscle connection. Think about the glutes you're trying to work. Lift. Woo! Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice job. Give yourself a child's pose or a wrist circle if you need. We are going onto our bottom in a V-sit like position. Feel free to do this with your back on the floor if you have wrist sensitivity. You're going to send your fingers back, so you'll stretch your shoulders quite a bit, but close to your heels. We're going to reach it up, lower down. Reach it up, lower down. Reach it up. Lower down. Let's pick up the speed a little bit. So we go up, down. Oh wow, this one always gets my glutes. I think it's because I get more range of motion and I'm really squeezing my abs also. Just a few more, this one's pretty tough. Last four. And relax. Okay, lay on your back. Lay on your back. We're going to bring your right knee in towards your chest. Shoulders down the back. Single leg glute bridge. Up and down. Just eight. So four more. Last two. Okay, hold it up. We're going to go kick, reach, bend. Kick, reach, bend. Kick, reach, bend. Keep those hips stable. Two more. Last one. Bring the knee in and pulse. Pulse. Whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Four. Three, two, one, switch sides. Okay, knee into chest. I want it in because you can really tuck your pelvis under. Here we go, up and down. Lift, lower. Just four more, then we'll do our little bicycle. Okay, hold it up. We kick, reach, bend. Kick, reach, Bend. Can you get your hips higher? Can you tuck your pelvis under? A little bit more. Four more. Last one. <laughs> Bring it in, hold. Pulse. Woo! Last four. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Lower down. Bring your feet together, heels together, toes apart. Hands behind your head. Little bonus abs for you, but I want you to use your inner thighs, okay? So we're going to curl up, and all we're going to do is press, bend. Feel free to leave your upper body on the floor for this. Press, bend. Oh yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Four, three, two, hold it up. Reach your arms, scissors. Switch, 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 switch. Inner thighs and abs, baby. I'm all for it. Woo! Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Return to your bridge. Last exercise. Up and down. We have to finish with the bridge. The bridge is my favorite, one of my favorite exercises ever, of all time. <laughs> yeah, just up and down. Easy bridges. Nothing crazy. Nice job. Hold it up. Little pulse. Woo! Last four, three, two, hold. Squeeze your butt harder. Squeeze it harder. 10% more. Yes, you can. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Stretch. One knee and other leg long. Cross your body. Twist. Notice how you feel. Switch sides back to center, other knee in. Give it a hug. Twist. Mm, that's yummy. Good job. Slowly bring it in. Roll your way up. Meet me in a seated position. Let's take a straddle. So it doesn't matter how wide you go, just go to a comfortable level. Lift up nice and tall. Hands together, you're gonna stretch forward on the floor. You should feel your inner thighs. So again, I just need to thank the Patreons who make these videos possible. Without you, I would not be able to do this work. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You are my people. Let's keep making videos together for years to come. Sit up nice and tall, we're gonna stretch to the side so one side goes over. Nice big stretch. And switch. Hmm. Lift it up. Bring your feet into a butterfly. Fold forward and thank your body for the gift of movement today. We are so lucky to have healthy bodies to move and enjoy. And I hope that you loved this video. Now make sure you finish this routine with one of my stretching videos. I have a full playlist on YouTube for you to choose from. So make sure you stretch and maybe get in a little bit of foam rolling, okay? Comment below and let me know if you liked this video. And again, to support the channel and this continued work, please consider becoming a Patreon. Patreon links are included in the description box below. Patreon Caroline Jordan Fitness. Thank you so much for a fabulous, uplifting, dance-inspired workout routine. I'm your coach, Caroline Jordan, and I'll see you soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.